Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY Valentine's Day paper flower, and this is a small one this time. We're going to use some 65 pound card stock, but you can use cover stock. You're going to need a burnisher. We're going to need some glue and a pair of cutting thingies. Um, okay, so this is only going to take one piece of 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, I picked blue for this particular flower. And we're going to fold it in half long ways. And then I'm taking a second piece of paper and I'm measuring it across just to get a square. It's just easier. I had the paper sitting there and I could have taken the ruler out and measured it. But since I had the paper there, I just went ahead. I know that there is a trick to fold this on the diagonal to um, get the square, but we don't want to crease this paper any more than we have to, so we're just going to not do that. So once we have it in a square, and I guess it's an eight and a half um, inch square, we're going to go ahead and fold it in half both ways and get four squares out of them. We're going to cut out all four squares. And the woman who I learned this tutorial from, I'll link her video in the description box down below. Um, she used white glue, like a white craft glue, um, and I used hot glue, but you can go ahead and use white craft glue if you want to. Okay, so first we're going to fold the paper. You're going to need four of them. You fold one paper in half on the diagonal, and then in half again on the diagonal, and then in half a third time. And now I'm just taking one of the top edges and folding it over because I need to create a shape and I wanted to make sure it wasn't too long for one side. I wanted to make it as even as possible. So what I've done is I folded it over and marked it and just cut the um, paper across and then when we go back we'll create the shape. So you want to repeat this for all four pieces of paper. And you also need to cut off the very tip. I forgot to mention that while I was doing it. But you see after I fold this one and I'm going to use the same one as sort of a template to draw on and then cut the tops even and then you're going to cut the very tip off of the folded edges which is going to create a circle in the paper later and then you want to repeat Like I was saying earlier, the woman who did this tutorial that I saw on YouTube used just regular craft glue, um, which does take a few more seconds to um, to set up, but than hot glue. But if you're doing it with children, which you can do this one, you know, tiny hands actually will work really well with this. Then um, go ahead and use some like Arlene's tacky glue or Elmer's craft glue. Okay. And now that I have all uh, four of them cut, let's see, and then the last tip. And again, this is a little out of order because I had forgotten to round off the petal shapes when I opened it up. It was like, oops. So what I'm doing is I am showing you, um, now that I have them all four folded, I'm creating more of a round uh, petal Um sort of like a teardrop, an upside down teardrop. Um, otherwise, if you just leave it straight across like we did, it won't really give the petals um, any def definition. All right. So um, I have already started to cut them and then I realized I was making a mistake. So that's why I'm just going back for you guys. So see there what it almost has like more of a petal shape or more of a shamrock shape. Anybody who ever folded a piece of paper in half and cut a heart out when they were in elementary school can uh, really do this craft. <laughs> all right, and then you want to make sure you get all of those done. <laughs> um, and then you'll see how we're going to cut up the pieces. I know you see some of the pieces there, which I feel like I've skipped a step, but like I said, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to fix that for you. I'm going to show you in a second how we're going to do it. So here, you just want to cut each one while they're still folded into a heart. So now we're going to cut the pieces um, in their different sizes. So what we want to do is we want to open them up and we want to refold them all in. So basically we want all of the folds to be in one direction. So um, you open them up and you fold them in and then in and then in and then in like that and then the first one we're going to cut one little um, triangle petal out of the eight petals 
And then the second one, we're going to cut two petals out of the eight petals. So you'll be left, you're left with one and seven, two and six. Then we're going to be left with three and five and then four and four. But it's just going to be four, so you'll see. Okay. Now it's starting to make a little bit more sense while those pieces were there. <laughs> and now you just want to make sure you go around the entire, every, every one of those folds, and you want to make sure they're all folded in. And whatever it takes to make them even and make sure they're folded in. We're going to burnish them so that they're nice and pretty. And then this one we're going to cut three petals out. So we're going to do one, two, three. And then this last one we're going to cut in half, but we're only going to keep half of it. The other half can go right in the recycling bin. Okay. So if we laid them all flat, there would be a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put glue on one of the petals and we're going to overlap it with another petal from the other side that we cut. Okay. Um, and we're going to do this with the three larger ones. Um, actually with the four larger ones um, and you're going to fold them over just to overlap one petal and you're going to put them in size order so I've just added a little hot glue to the whole petal folded it over and now I'm going to do the same thing with the third smallest except I'm not going to overlap the entire petal just about two-thirds of it and for the second one, I'm going to overlap about a half, maybe, or maybe a third, really little. And I'm going to wrap it. I'm using my finger to use it to make a cone. Now, the little one, I really did need help. Um, with the little one, you need little tiny fingers. Um, so what I did was I curled it first, so I wouldn't have to try to curl it while the, hot, the glue was hot. And then I curled it closed and it didn't really stay too closed for me in most of the spots so I went ahead and I put the pencil inside of it to give it a little grip so I used the pencil to hold on to it while I added more glue and closed it around so you don't want this little tiny skinny cone for the center of the flower and now you're just going to assemble them um, they're going to go from the smallest goes inside the next one and then the next one, I'm putting a little glue on the bottom there, goes inside the next one. And like we've done in previous roses, just make sure how you offset your petals so that they're not all lined up. Um, and once I have the first three done in the center, then I started to be mindful of curling the leaves with the pencil. I've just wrapped it around the pencil a little bit or burnished it with the round pencil, see here. I've just gone around the flower and burnished each one with a little pencil just to give it a little curve. And a little hot glue. The hot glue is nice because it cools really easily. I mean, it you know, it cools real quickly. But, you know, the white glue is nice too because it does have a little bit more flexibility to it as well. And now I've added glue to the inside instead of rubbing it on the outside. I just found it a little bit easier. But do whatever works for you. And finally, the last one. Go ahead and curl all seven of those petals. So the this one is definitely the easiest of the different methods. Um, just 100% easier. So if you just want to make a bunch of these for your kids' class, the teachers, um, Homecoming, any kind of reason you would use flowers. Well, homecoming, I guess they use carnations usually, right? And there it is. It's just so pretty. I can't believe how pretty it is. And then, of course, we're going to make leaves because these are for decoration. Um, if you wanted to add a pin to this, like I said, they're very lightweight. It is just a piece of paper, this one. Um, so you could do like a pin back to it. Um, so that you can hand them out and wear them as corsages and stuff. All right, and this one I'm just going to cut um, the leaf shape, and then I'm going to fold it in an accordion fold, which is like a weird pleated accordion fold. I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm just cutting two and making sure they're the same 
roughly the same size. And then just starting at the top, I folded it in half and just pleated it back and forth. Basically, like, like I said, like an accordion fold, like we used to make fans in school. And that's just to give some texture to the leaf. And I did this one backwards, so of course I got to mess one up. Why not? I started from the bottom instead of starting from the top. <laughs> and I folded in the wrong direction. Oh, but that's okay. It still looks cute. And then when you open it, it does just give that little bit of leaf shape. And then I add a little hot glue. Oh, need another glue stick. Add a little hot glue. Stick it on the back. And then this one. And I'm going to make these two closer, like, you know, at 10 and 10 or 10 and 2. And there you go. And I've um, made a hanger for this as well. Even though it's so teeny tiny, I do have it hanging on the door, as you saw. Um, so the hanger I'm going to make for this is just a teeny tiny jute one. All right, a um, little tiny piece. In fact, so little that I actually didn't knot the ends as much as I knotted down from the loop. Which you'll see here in a second, if you know what I mean. So um, this, these are the three rose type um, flowers we're going to do in this series and then we're going to work on some more like daisy type flowers in the next couple of days um but i wanted to make sure i got these more i think roses are more for valentine's day and i think the daisies are more for spring and easter so i wanted to get these up for you for valentine's day diys and like i said glue up a little bit on the loop i said it in the previous videos um so it's not flopping down and that's it just let it let it cool off so you don't burn your fingers and there you have it so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial so simple this one was they're really really cute these little roses and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with friends and family anybody who might be interested in making one of these and if you haven't yet click subscribe when you do a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and as always take care God bless see you next time bye